Hi everybody, welcome to Organizing Your Google Drive. I'm Bobby Grenier from the PVUSD Virtual Academy and um, I'm here today to show you a few tips and tricks about your Google Drive. So let's get started. Hi Stephanie. Hi Bobby, how are you? I'm good, glad to see you. Good, I need this training, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Hi Jenna. Hello. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for having this. I'm awesome. excited to get organized. <laughs> and have a little fun too. Awesome. You know, be a little Even bit better. better. Even better. Don't see the window anymore. So we are looking at your Google Drive. I'm going to show you how to organize your Google Drive effectively so that this does not happen to you. That. So one of the cool things you can do in your Google Drive is that you can add color to it and um, we'll start there. Let's start with the color. I'll go back into my Google Drive and if you click just like in the open space, what I that's how I do it. Other people might have uh, other ways of doing it, but I like to just right click and then I grab uh, make a new folder. So let's just name this folder. Um, I'm going to use like a number. Um, I'll call it 100 and maybe I'll just say test folder. So the reason I did that, I wrote yeast, didn't I, instead of test. The reason I did that is because the number in the front will come before the letters in the alphabet and the way that our computers are set up numbers on your keyboard come first so it represents that you know follows in that same line of thought that as you name folders and things like that that the numbers come first as characters and then the alphabet comes so if i say 100 test folder that should put it up here uh somewhere sooner rather than under the t for just test folder so let me let me create the folder and let's see where it put it. See how uh, I'm up here in the numbers instead of it starting with the letter T, it's seeing the number one. So if I had put number two, it would have dropped, you know, lower in, in the food chain. Um, and if number three would have dropped it way down behind over here. First thing, uh, since it's a little bit of a play on words about a drive, uh, I organized everything according to uh, driving. So let's start driving. You are driving. So you're going to make Google Drive work for you. <laughs> and we're going to start with talking about colors. So let's dive in and look at color. How do you um, change the color really quick? Yeah. So Thanks. let me, Sorry. Let me, no worries because I, I didn't do that on our, our test folder. So let me go back to our test folder and you right click on it. Do you see change color right there? Oh, got it, thank you. So then you just pick a color and and so now it's red. So let's see if, if the color makes, uh, I don't think the color is gonna make any difference. Let's say I go orange. It's just changing and it's still in the same placement, but it helps me to identify it. And then when you want to get rid of the, the color, you could just come back to the, the gray tone, which is what they're all, that's the default color. Another cool thing that you can do is that you can, uh, you can colorize your folders instead of them just being gray. See how much more visible they are when they're colors. And a lot of teachers have developed like color code schemes. Like some teachers are like, I just love rainbows. So I'm going to just do all my folders in rainbows. But others are a little more sophisticated than that. Like maybe they're doing all their language arts one color and all their reading a different color and anything with science a different color like that. Or um, you might be doing it by grade level if you're dealing with multiple grade levels, like first grade's one color, second is another, third is another. And honestly, I can show you in um, my Google Drive later that that's exactly how I do it. I, I've got a couple of strategies for myself. I tend to colorize folders that I need to be able to see that I use a lot. And I tend to colorize folders um, 
sometimes subfolders like when it's by grade level to make it easier for me to access and see. The next thing we're going to look at are emojis. I don't know whether you knew or not, but you can use emojis with your Google Drive. And the other thing that you can do is really cool. You can use um, emojis and you can use uh, specialized fonts. And I'm going to give you some websites here um, to do that. So, because what you probably noticed right away is that, like my virtual academy, is got some some uh, emojis and it has some cool font. And look at like it starts with the letter V, but it's all the way at the top, and it's here because I stuck an emoji in the front. So the emoji actually actually supersedes the numbers and um and even the font that you're using in here your computer's kind of seeing that as a graphic so it means that these folders like like i did technology just in that font even though there's no emojis with it it hopped to the front so if you have folders that you need to have at the top that you use a lot that you just want to see at the top because i mean like folks look at this I have a lot of folders and, and it's not even showing all of them. So with the first two, you would go in and say you want one of these graphics. You're just going to click on it and grab the graphic. So let's say I um, grab that graphic right there. I copy it. I'm going to come back over to my uh, test folder. I want to rename it. And I'm going to just stick that little emoji right there. And now when I click OK, see how it moved? It jumped up. And next we're going to take a look at fonts, specialized fonts. And I've got a couple of links for you here. Uh, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash coolfont.org. So coolfont.org and if we go on in there you get an idea of what the fonts look like. So coolfont.org will give you different fonts to choose from that your computer will actually see as graphics. So here's my, my file in the Virtual Academy. You can see that I've color coded some things. These are things that I use a lot and that I wanted to um, be able to distinguish between other folders. I just colorize the things that I really need. That's sort of been my standard. But let's say we go inside my, my PLP folder, which is um, where I work with all my students. One thing you notice is like there, these are colorized. So like here's all my second graders, they're all in green. And my third graders are all in blue and first grade all in orange and and my kinders are all in pink so i don't you know um it it makes it really fast for me to be able to go in and access the different folders and and sometimes when i'm talking to different families because i'm dealing with so many different grades i just can glance over if i forget what grade the student is in i can glance at my folder uh, colors really quick and go oh yeah that was kinder you know, so that's very, very helpful. You'll notice that I don't have any, um, I haven't used any fancy fonts or any um, emojis over here. I just straight on color code. And I tend to do that when I'm in subfolders. I'm in my drive. Um, I tend to do this on the main level, entry level. And then as I start to go subfolders deeper, um, I tend to just do colorizing and then usually I don't colorize after this level. Next, we're going to look at vistas. So the first thing I have up for you is your, your drives view. Let's go in and take a look. And the first thing I'm going to start with is looking at the drive view. So I'm going to bring you actually into my Google Drive. And the view is right here up in this top corner. Can you see that where I'm pointing to? So what that does is it gives you uh, an option. I'll click it 
So I could go grid view where it's kind of a, a more of a listing like this, or, or I can go back to the grid, which is what I had and what I like because I like to see everything quicker. But a lot of folks like it in a list because it's alphabetical or is it? Um, the other thing is you might notice in sight here, just, just mentioning this, this little arrow means that um, that folder actually lives somewhere else. This is a shortcut. That's, that's the symbol for shortcut. Um, and interestingly enough, that's sitting in the very top position because of, it's because of those brackets that moved it into that position. This one here is a shared folder. That means I'm sharing that folder with somebody else or several somebody's. Um, so whenever it has a, a picture in it, I won't be able to manipulate that unless I've been given permission. I can't colorize it or, or change fonts or do anything to it unless I own it. Next thing I want to do is talk a little bit about search inside your Google Drive. So let's go in there and have a look at search and using keywords. So let me bring you back to this test folder. Now, I don't need that test folder because that was just for you all. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go in here and remove it, which is pretty easy to do. Did you know that you can you can remove it by just clicking on that? And then did you know you can download your, your um, folders, files and stuff too? So it'll actually, um, if you need to save like what's in it, which is very, very helpful at times so that you, you back up copies just in case. Um, but I'm going to remove it right now. So it gives me that warning message because once it's gone, bye bye. Pretty easy. But if I wanted to, to um, download, let's say I wanted to download the Virtual Academy, it's going to prepare a zip file for me. And that's going to download onto my computer. And it'll take a little while to do because there's a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to cancel it out. Can I ask you another question? Sure. Um, when you're doing a search, um, just a general search, and I'm in my drive, it's in a shared drive. It's not going to pull that up. That's where I never can find anything in my Google Drive. I'm going to organize it. But do I have to, I usually start with, you know, the main one, then I go to my drive, then I go to recents, and I'm like, was it a shared drive? I'm, I never can remember where it is or if it was shared with me, or will one general um, search look everywhere? I think that the the more you you drill down what it is you're looking for, and Stephanie, if you put, um, uh, let's say I put, uh, I want something that's Google, but I want... Uh, drive. I want that word drive for sure. I'm telling it that I really, really want that. Or if I want just Google Drive, I don't want everything that's Google. Let's say um, I put these quote marks around it like that. So the computer is, is now being told Google Drive. It's got to have both those. Um, and let's see if I have anything. I'm, I probably do. I'm just like, here's my hard drive. You know, you just come on in. I know. Thanks for sharing it. I know, but this is really helpful because I usually just like hodgepodge until I somehow find what I'm looking for. So this is good to slow down and learn this a bit. So these quote marks around what you're searching for, really drill it down. Do you see how it's like Google Drive? See Google Drive, Google Drive. It's it's in the name of these. This is be Google. Everything is named what it should be. So um, it really drills it down for me to be able to to find what I'm looking for. And um, another way you could do it is um, that I like that one the best because it forces it to do that. You can you can put basically when you just do this, this is what the computer is really seeing. Google Plus Drive. And, and it will try to find it for you. Let's see if it comes up with the same stuff. In this case, it did. Yeah. Or you can um, you can put the quotes around. And see, even here, it's trying to show me what, but it it only sh it like previews so many. So the 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 um, quote marks are are what really make the difference. Okay, and so if it has the quote marks, it'll search the shared the shared with me and the my drive. It'll search all those different places. 
it should sh anywhere. it'll it'll search your drive it's not like yeah. you you might notice it's not searching the other uh my shared um shared drives where these it's not searching those it's just searching my drive okay cool. but Thank i could you. go into a shared drive and do the same thing yeah okay and then it'll Thank just you. search that shared drive that i go into okay that makes sense yeah it does thank you uh-huh any other questions while i'm in here awesome sauce all right next thing we're going to work on has to do with speeding and i called it speeding because i want to get there quick so let's look at starred items you see over here on the starred on that side there well the when you put a star um when you star something what it does is it makes kind of a shortcut within your google drive so these are two folders in mine that i use a lot so let me click it it's going to show you what's in my in my starred folder now this is not in my starred folder but i've been using it a lot lately but these two are folders that i did star and so it, what it means is like I use my PLP folder a lot because over at the Virtual Academy, this is like a, a daily folder that I have to go to. And it's buried like several layers into my Google Drive. So when I make a, a star, I could just click the star and it shows me like, boom, let's go there. I think it's so cute. Your, your um, emojis and stuff come up there. So it takes me right to where I want to go. And um, if I want to star it, you just click on the folder and it'll be, there's a star and it literally, you want to star it, star it. If you'd want to remove that star, you can do that. There's so much that you can do here that you can, um, you can move things around, color them, you know, and here's the search. So let's, it, I could even drill it down to searching within the folder or I can search up here within the folder. So let's say, you know, I want, um, I want to do, let's say marketing or something like that. I know that marketing is inside that folder. It should be maybe not my PLP folder. It's inside the virtual Academy. So it's going to come up with nothing. Yeah. It's going to come back and say, where nothing was in that PLP folder. You, what do you want? I've got all of these other things for you. So let me go back and just come into to here. Say this is a really big folder. Well, see, yeah, I do have marketing there. But if I come all the way out of that and back into my, my drive, and now I search marketing. I'm already, I'm back at the main level. So now it's giving me that marketing folder and most likely that's the marketing folder yep inside the virtual academy so if i had more more you know folders labeled marketing um in different because this is a sub sub category so i could have you know i have a marketing folder here i could have a marketing folder inside something else as well so the the search uh enables you to to search for things within your google drive and after starred Got a little extra something, something here for you. Here are some helpful Google Drive links. 13 tips to organizing your drive, five ways to pre up the Google Drive, and how to add emojis to your Google Drive titles. All of these links will be provided for you in my slideshow presentation. All right, backing out all the way before you can drive. We need student drivers. No, I'm just kidding. These are recommendations for your kids, for your students. Would be really cool to have several students present their finished Google Drive to the whole class. And then you let the other students, you know, you put it up on the TV and let the other students look for mistakes and help each other out that way. So it becomes a real classroom activity. Second thing is you could allow students to self-correct as they discover their own errors. Maybe they don't want to participate as a group. So you could differentiate that way. Next thing would be to use Google Classroom to generate this activity. 
That way students can easily submit a screen capture to you of their finished drive for grading. And of course, my pro tip always is color code your Google Drive folders for easier access. You can have your students do this too. They'll really love it. Well, that covers organizing your Google Drive. So I have one more favorite ask. I need a little bit of feedback. So if you could evaluate me, I have a Google form for you. And my gift to you for doing that is I have some Googleicious uh, a wakelet for you. And then if you want to contact me, here's my contact information. So my websites and my Twitter handle and loads of ways to get a hold of me. If you guys will will do the uh, form for me, I give you I'll give you the the last 30 seconds. It's a real quick Google form. Helps me, uh, helps with my my status as a Google trainer, um, so that um, Google's all happy with me. And um, I appreciate it. And if if you need anything else, please feel free to contact me. I've enjoyed spending uh, time with you. And um, you guys are awesome. Those were great questions. Yeah, Jenna, any questions that I could answer for you? Are we good? I don't think so. That was really helpful. Now I just need time to like color code everything. <laughs> I'm really interested in exploring all the, all the articles and materials you shared too. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna, got one more gift for you. So this is, um, this is like a major Google file that I created inside here. It has all kinds of help. So there'll be stuff here on like your, your, uh, Google drive and just all these topics here I've put in all in one wakelet. And, um, I'm going to give you the link to that as well. Back to you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, if you have any questions or even about like the wakelet, if there's some things in there that you're like, well, I would like to know more about that. Feel free to contact me if you'd like. Hey, thank you for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. See you next time. Bye.